Hi, Derek here from Cold Stream Rod Shop. This is number four of our short videos that we're doing for the summer. Uh, like I said, we're not doing how-to stuff over the summer. We're just gonna basically show you what we're working on and what we've got done and try and spend some time doing summer stuff. Um, anyways, what we've done so far is, uh, I, I said in the end of the last video there, we had to actually create a new step in the floor to cover the cross member I put in for the coilover shocks. Um, basically it consisted of two pieces of 18 gauge here on this side and this side after I cut the hole out. And then I made a cover to go across the top of it and then basically bead rolled in these uh, little indentations to mimic what the rest of the car already had. Now the gentleman that owns this, he had gone out and bought um, a new uh, floor. Uh, which we could have used um, if we didn't, we could have used all of it, I guess, if we didn't put this in, but essentially all I did was trim off this back section here and part of the wings, um, and then we were able to use this. It's a, I think it's galvanized. Um, got a little bit of oil canning in there, but what I'm gonna do is I'll get the uh, propane torch out, I'll heat that up and I'll shrink some of that so it doesn't do it. But one thing we had to do was basically create this lip along the back here for the floor to sit on because um, it was basically rusted away. So in some cases what I did was I used like a spot welding technique and then along the whole periphery of this uh, pan I basically completely welded it all the way around. Um, over here in this corner um, is the ow. <laughs> is where I had to put the new body mount in place. So there's the hole and there's the indentation for the washer to go in it. You can see that the one panel was welded here and another one there. Um, this piece here actually had to weld to, um, I guess it's a support piece underneath here. The This piece of the back of the trunk, um, sheet metal on the top, but up underneath here, there's actually a supporting piece. I don't know if the camera lady can see it or not. So. This was not attached to, to this anymore. So one of the things I had to do both in the corner and along the back here is basically re, uh, reattach this sheet metal onto this support piece. Um, and the one thing it does, it really tightens. The whole back end of the car is completely, in, like it's really rigid now. Um, everything is basically brought back together again. So. Um, I think this pretty much sums up what we got to do with the trunk area. Now, one thing I did discover, I was walking along the car, and as I did all of the bigger stuff, now all of a sudden some of the smaller stuff is starting to, to crop up. So, one thing I noticed, and I just, I think I saw it here before, um, but now I've just noticed over time this must have something happened. Um, so, I'm going to have to prop up the hood and make a repair here and make a repair here there so that. Basically the hood, or sorry, not the hood, the boot lid or the trunk lid, wherever you're from, um, it, it'll it actually have the shape to it. So there's damage there. And then along the front, um, I knew I had to do some work on one of the cowl corners, um, but I've noticed here at the bottom of this door, I'm probably going to have to do a patch right there. I was talking to the owner. We didn't really notice it this year before, but like I said, once you get the big stuff done, then some of the small stuff starts sticking out. And then I thought we were going to get away with not doing this cowl bottom, but there's actually a rust through line here and a rust through line there, so I'm going to have to fix that. Um, so this week coming up, I'll be doing all of those things. I thought that I was only going to have to do this one side here, but I'll probably, I'll, I'm probably going to start with this side fix this, go to that and work my way around and then kind of try and wrap up the metal work um, that we, we were asked to do. Um, and after all of that's done, the other thing we have to do is fill the holes in the firewall and make like a little skull up there to go behind the, uh, the distributor um, before we like, actually finish it up. So that's where we are on the 40 Plymouth. We're chugging along here, we're getting stuff done, but right now, I'm going outside, I'm going to get in the hot rod, and I'm going to go for a drive. Um, just because it's a nice day out. It's, uh, it, it's, I had to enjoy the summer. Um, anyways, that's it for this week's update. Please like, share, tag, and subscribe. Send me your comments, and I hope you have a great summer. Everybody, take care.